So you, you your your biomarkers tend to be a lot of performance related yeah. biomarkers. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I've done the genetic stuff, so I know. Let's just say that uh, I'm a poor methylator. You know, right. My, uh, the the motherfucker gene, as they say. Yes, the, MTHFR. Yeah. Uh, is is not yeah I'm not in an ideal spot so in taking say L-methylfolate yes. could be uh, a good option for me and I've experimented with that in the past looking at how that could lower say homocysteine or other things like that. Have you noticed any any differences after supplementing with 5-methylfolate, L5-methylfolate, methylcobalamin? Yeah, I I haven't noticed many changes in blood markers and I haven't noticed uh, subjective uh, changes in, say, performance or clarity or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, doesn't mean it isn't doing things. Yeah, I have an but. anecdotal story. Actually, my so I'm very into looking at different gene polymorphisms. Yeah. 23 and me is a great service that can do that. So, you know, my friends, family, etc. I'm telling everyone to do it. And so yeah. my mother-in-law got genotyped, and we found out that she is homozygous for MTHFR, meaning that she... Her MTHFR enzyme only produces about 10, or is working at about 10 to 20% efficiency. Mm. Um, and she's always had really high blood pressure, like mm. to the point where, you know, doctors were like wanting to get her on medicine for it. Yeah. And she's always refused. Nothing she did. She's done various diets, lots of, you know, exercise, lots of things. She's tried. Nothing has gotten her into a normal range mm. until we identified she had MTHFR, got her supplementing with 5-methylfolate and um, methylcobalamin, but... You know, she's she's been taking pretty high doses of it, but now her blood pressure for the first time is in like a normal range. Uh, so I was kind of curious if you had cool. ever. Um, I haven't. I've I've had. Uh, I very consistently, what you would what you would consider excellent blood pressure. So I yeah. haven't looked closely yeah. at that. Uh, the the question that comes to mind all, for me always because I've noticed. Uh, so I'm a big fan of Richard Feynman, and uh, so Richard Feynman, and I'm not saying this is the case with your, you said mother-in-law? Yes. Or, but uh, you know, the the importance of not tricking yourself because you're the easiest person to fool, basically, is what he would say. And I know that it's what, what I have initially thought were sort of causal relationships yes. with high correlative value. Sometimes, like for instance, uh, I've talked to people who've gone on fill in the blank diet. And they're mm-hmm. like, oh my God, like this thing changed. And uh, I, I'm so glad I found this diet. And I'm like, so you haven't changed anything else. And they're like, oh no, no, no. Like I started running in the morning. Right. I started doing <laughs> this, I started doing that. And I'm like, oh yeah. Cause like one, it's so hard. That's where the observational data gets yes. so challenging. When you look at say anything, whether it's the China study or whatever, I mean, we don't need to get into that, that one, but that's a sensitive one, but the uh, any sort of observational self-reporting and so on, like it's so, it's the data is almost always so flawed because it's humans n- almost never change just one thing. Yeah, right? I think that's why it's so important when you're looking when you're doing these you know when you're looking at epi studies that are associative that are not you know a clinical randomized control yeah. trial sort of um, you know thing that. Coupling that data with, you know, mechanistic data done in animal models yeah. or lower organisms, I think coupling yeah. the two yeah, yeah. is very important because then you go, oh, okay, we've noticed this observational data, and here we've done X, Y, or Z to manipulate it in a worm or in a right. so you have a plausible mechanism, right. right? So you have like a mechanism that, and that's where I think looking comprehensively at the whole at like the scientific, yeah, is yeah. very important.